Dear brothers and sisters, the word that the visionary Mir Jana received from the Blessed Virgin Mary of Medjugorje. We use this occasion to recall that every person is free to investigate their beliefs and look for meaning and purpose based on their interpretation of the world within the framework of their faith. This freedom includes the decision to accept or reject the statements ascribed to God, whether they come from sacred writings, traditional religions, or personal spiritual encounters. Could this be the Holy Mother telling her children at the outset of her discourse that they are surrounded by heavenly splendor and are bestowed with many benefits for their soul's salvation and well-being? Diseases and plagues will cause breakouts in many locations, particularly in areas that are remote from the Divine. The nation started to suffer as a result of the knights who faced starvation and disease. A significant portion of the God of life's population will perish, thus some have turned away from him. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, I tell you, my children, that not even science will be able to contain the imminent diseases, only through unwavering faith and trust in God will you find the necessary healing. Little ones, I give you the medicines sent from heaven through our intermediary Mir Jana, so that you can use them when diseases begin to spread. I reinforce that these heavenly medicines will be effective only if we maintain faith and place trust in our hearts. Even though the days of trouble are drawing close, you God's people should not give up on the Lord. Recognize that this is only one of many challenges you will encounter. However, I want to emphasize that you are unprotected and have nothing to fear from God or me. After the elixir has been appropriately blessed by one of my chosen ones, place it at the door of each of your homes and pray for your family in your home using my son's blood. Do this daily at dawn and night, so that your homes and loved ones are protected, and the angel of destruction passes because this is the spiritual defense that will free you from the silent plague that afflicts a large part of the population. Know, dear ones, that in the days of affliction, the firmament will not abandon you. Remember that those who face the challenges of tomorrow will become my father's inheritance, residing in his new manifestation. Arm yourselves with divine salve to weather the impending bouts of plague and disease, overcoming this adversity. Stay together in prayer, my children, and never undervalue the recitation of the Holy Rosary. This will prevent my enemy from taking you by surprise when you are not wearing your spiritual armor and will help you escape terrible vicissitudes. Give it to your family and friends, and make sure that no one is left vulnerable to impending heavenly retribution. That comes to the end of the message, my beloved brothers, we share with you a set of guidelines given by Our Lady and Our Lord, designed to face the challenges that lie ahead. We shall do as Our Lady and Our Lord Jesus have commanded. It is advised that you wear the Saint Benedict amulet around your neck when there are natural disasters like earthquakes, wars, and floods, among other things, for your animals. Say the following in prayer, I honor you, I give you my whole devotion. I give you my undying love, O holy star of my Savior, guard, watch over, and keep us safe with your holy image. Calm my pain so that throughout the extreme turbulence I can just feel calm and confident. Sing the prayer that our Lord of the Cross revealed throughout times of armed conflict and revolution, only hope and the Word became flesh. O Jesus, the great victor over death, guard us. Our Lord disclosed that the way to remove all fear and anxiety is to touch a holy effigy or medal of Mary Immaculate on the forehead. This will keep your heart calm and unaffected, preventing the spirit from being scared by human fear. My holy justice won't affect it during the three days of darkness. There will only be holy candles lighted. Every residence will have enough light for one candle during this time of darkness. 
It won't reveal the whereabouts of the blasphemers and unforgiving residences. The Blessed Virgin suggests that you constantly have your protective items close at hand, such as holy relics, images, and blessed Syrian medals, from where all blessings originate. My dear ones, the Blessed Mother reminds us that the purest form of prayer that may reach her brothers in the depths is confidence and trust in God. The warning and the promise of comfort are both part of the message that the Blessed Virgin Mary left for us. We are reminded that even if we are tempted to put our reliance in human wisdom and technology to deliver us from these tragedies, we must not abandon faith and trust in God in the face of impending adversities like pests, illnesses, and epidemics. Mary reassures us that we will only receive the required healing if we have unwavering confidence, trust, and trust in God. There is no need to be afraid if we are in a state of connection with God and the Virgin Mary is watching over us. Because the road to everlasting salvation is not entirely comprised of hardships, even in the face of them. Therefore, we must prepare ourselves with heavenly medicines and our spiritual armor to be able to resist and triumph in the days of plagues and illnesses that are approaching. We pray to the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, that through her intercession, she will sustain and strengthen us to have our firm faith and our unwavering trust in God. May it be so. Let us pray, Divine Mary, come to our aid. O Mother of Infinite Mercy, your power to save us in the midst of needs and dangers is incomparable. Where human assistance disappears, your presence persists. You cannot ignore the fervent supplications of your children, and we pray that you reveal your motherhood in the most crucial moments. Divine Mary, come to our aid. O Mother of Infinite Mercy. Amen. Compassionate Jesus, whose nature is to sympathize and forgive, do not pay attention to our faults but to the trust we place in your infinite goodness. Embrace them in your sacred heart and mantles eternally. In it, we beg for your love that unites us to the Father and the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, direct your merciful gaze to all humanity, especially to sinners, enveloping it in the compassionate heart of Jesus. Through your sadness and passion, reveal to us your mercy so that we can eternally praise the omnipotence of your compassion. Amen.